Hello, and, and welcome to more Goblin Summer Camp uh, devlog update. I don't know why their names are facing up, uh, probably towards the other camera. Anywho, um, yeah, as you see here, I've got a new game mode that's sort of come out. It's the, um, it's like Wipeout, it's a, or American Gladiator. Uh, your goal is to sort of make it to the end over there, to that, uh, that warren, the other goblin warren, from uh, the starting position. And this is a, currently set up as a multiplayer um, first to get to the end win sort of situation. But I might make this single player to start off with. There, there's a couple bugs I'm still working out with it. Uh, like, trying to hop on these guys correctly. Um, whoop, and so you hop over. And uh, yeah, you're trying to avoid dying and getting flung into the water, if you can help it. Ugh. There we go. Hop your way up. And there we go, I made it to the next platform. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I want to do checkpoints or not. I think it would be fun just to see how far you can make it in one life. And then um, maybe you don't have to get in there, it's just whoever makes it the farthest. Um, and then in order, we'll get points based on that. Oh, almost didn't make that one. It was a bit of a long jump here. And I fell off. God, I'm stupid. Okay, let's try it again. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. I think this could be a fun one to speed run too. Damn it. That jump is actually very hard. You have to time it perfectly. And there's a little bit of a catch time, like the roadrunner time as you fall off of a cliff, where you can continue to jump. So that is pleasant. Trying to work more on our color schemes here. Oh, and I fell in the water again. And this is the the very first map of this type that I've built, uh, but I plan to have quite a few more. They're not too difficult to make. It's uh, just trying to get the, the trap set up so that they work correctly over the network is the tough part. So maybe this will come out as a single player uh, mode initially. Maybe unlock cosmetics for your, your gabo. God, I'm, I'm dead. There we go. And you saw a little bit of the Roadrunner time there. Um, I might tune it down a little bit, but I do kind of like it. I think it's a, I think it's a fun little, oh, more forgiving mechanic. Yeah, so that's that's kind of what it looks like. Um, I'm having troubles actually completing it, but that's okay. But just a, a series of obstacles, not too terrible to start off with. Then difficulty, and then you know work your way over here, and then hop the final little little death jump. Sometimes these little ones are the ones that get you the most. And then the first to run into here uh, would get first place, and then after that it's you know second to get in, third to get in, or just whoever makes it the farthest in general. It's just how these uh, these little runs would work. Um, again, still tinkering with these little traps, seeing how well they. Uh, they work for pushing and moving and kicking people off. Um, it's kind of hard to get those synced up over the network so that way they, they feel good. But they do feel very nice if you play it in single player mode. So I'm thinking about having something like 10 of these different levels uh, to start off with when we release for early access, uh, as well as I would like to do five maps for the tag version of the game. And I think that might be a good spot to open early access with uh, and to play around in. But let me know. Let me know what you think. Uh, make a couple of these guys. Uh... That's it. 